Hey everybody, it's Gloria Ortiz with Real People Realty, or some of you may know me as Glow, as in hashtag Go with Glow. Today's Formation Friday video is going to be about a nonprofit organization called Greater West Town Community Development Project. AJ, who is with that organization, is going to let us know all the services they offer to the community completely free. Yeah. Hey, AJ. Hi, how are you? Uh, so my name is Agustin Jaramillo, uh, AJ for short. I work at Greater West Town. Um, I am a training instructor for the vocational unit. What we have here at uh, Greater West Town is a vocational unit and a direct adult placement and then a, a high school, uh, part of the um, Alternative Schools Network of Chicago, Illinois. So if you are looking for training, you come to us. If you're looking for a job, you come to us. If you're looking for a high school diploma, you can also come to our program. We'll be able to assist you in all those three factors. So for the high school, uh, AJ, that's for somebody who has maybe been kicked out of school um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. If, if if you've been uh, if you were at a CPS school and you weren't able to finish for whatever the reason, you can always come to uh, our organization and we'll look at any of the credits that are owed uh, that you owe or that you need in order to complete your high school education, and then we'll try to work with you then. CPS, I believe, is Chicago Public. Yes, right? Chicago Public School. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, one thing that uh, I thought was great about the program is. Um, that you assist ex-felons, yeah. so if they have been released from prison and or jail, um, they can come and apply for your program, and if they're accepted, yeah. uh, you also work with companies who are um, felon-friendly. Yes. They don't judge them. They will hire them and give them a chance. Yes. Yeah, so um, we, uh, we, we teach and train uh, a variety of populations uh, within the Chicago area, and uh, one of them is um, the people who have just been released. Um, they can attend our training program. They uh, can then uh, find uh, employment through our services. So what we do is we um, accept people into the program. And if you choose a woodworking program, that would be a 15-week training program. Um, once you're done with the 15 weeks, uh, then we assist with job placement. So we'll start matching people up with the correct place uh, for them to go to take the, the skills that they learned. If it's shipping and receiving, that's 12 weeks. Uh, same thing happens after the 12th week and you do, we have the graduation. Uh, we, we also uh, do job placement. Um, that way you can secure um, a job toward at the end of training. Um, you know, we don't want people to come in here, train and then not have anything to show for it. So our main mission is to make sure that people have the skills needed um, to get that job and to move further on in life. Is there uh, any age requirement for the program? You must be at least 18 years, uh, but there is no age max. So even if you're, uh, you know, 74, 86, uh, but you Get can it. still move <laughs> and you can uh, you can lift boxes and, and you can stand on your feet and, and begin uh, a career within shipping, receiving, or woodworking, you're more than welcome to come and apply. And the program is open to females and males because, you know, there's a lot of stuff we could do. Yes, yes. Uh, females and males alike. Uh, it uh, All we need is for people Honestly, the, the, the point of contact is the application contacting us so that we can start working with you there. Um, our program is offered at no cost, but that does mean that the application process is, is, is a little long. Not too long. You're, we're not talking months, but a few weeks in order to make sure that um, you, you'll be able to attend our training program. And it is completely free. Yes. So not only do they learn a skill or a trade, um, you teach them interviewing skills, yes. and then you help them find a job, yes. place them in, in a job. Yes. Uh, Full-time employment is our mission, um, aside from training. Uh, what we, we, the 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 step-by-step -step process is: you give us a call, uh, we sign you up for orientation, which are held on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at eight forty-five in the morning. Uh, after that's done, then we'll have you come back for a, a small reading and math assessment, and then after those two. Uh, uh, steps are taken care of. We'll call you back for a two-person interview. Finally, there's a drug test, and then uh, you'll get a decision on whether you're accepted or not. Wow. So the only downfall that I could see, AJ, in, in my opinion, was that uh, if you get into the program, um, you know, I think you said one is, is it four weeks? 12, 12 and 15. Okay, so one is 12 weeks, one is 15 weeks. You're not getting paid at all for that. So the payment that you're getting is learning the trade so you could take that and go elsewhere mm -hmm. with that. So yeah. if it's somebody who can't afford to be um, without receiving a paycheck for the next 12 to 15 weeks, then probably this is something that um, you wouldn't be able to do at this time. But if it's someone who can and you're able to gain this trade, and one thing I loved when you showed me the warehouse is mm -hmm. uh, how, you know, the inventory is computerized now. And mm -hmm. so you're also training people yeah. um, on computers. And me, I'm, I'm a little bit on the older side. So I know uh, back when I was in high school, we weren't even working with a, lo a lot of computers. So to have somebody who has maybe just been released or 
um, maybe is, is uh, coming back into the job force after not working for so long, mm -hmm. they may not be very versed on computers. Mm -hmm. And your program is showing them that, showing them how to work computers, yeah. giving them skills to get through a successful interview. If you haven't interviewed in years, you have no idea what they can ask you or how you should answer it. Yeah. And I think it's great that you're just, you're giving them skills that they can use outside of here. I, yeah, I think I think it's, it's beneficial. Um, so yeah, we are not a paid training program and it is a downfall. But we do offer transportation, so if you're actually accepted into the training what? program, yeah, if you're accepted into the training program uh, and you take public transportation, you get a seven-day bus card for every week that you attend. Wow! And if you drive, you get a twenty-five dollar gas card at the end of the week. But that's only if you get accepted into the program. Um, what we try to do is make the transportation as, as, as easy as possible so people can come to our training program. Um, and then we also have a community kitchen uh, about every two to three weeks. We uh, bring in food so that people that don't can't afford to bring a lunch will have a lunch available for them here. There's really no excuse yeah. not to get this, get in on this free training and learn this skill. I mean, they're even providing transportation. That's amazing, yeah. AJ. That's all right, do that. That was a surprise at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, because I didn't know that before this video. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope that this video finds its way to help somebody who's out there looking for not a hand out, but a hand up. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions for me or AJ on this program, my contact information is on this page. Please feel free to reach out to me and I will put you in direct contact with AJ. Mm -hmm. See you guys next month. Right. Thanks.